Hello everyone, I am Shadha Shara and welcome to Shadha Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn optimizing the Eclipse IDE settings. If you want to optimize the Eclipse IDE settings, we need to go to different uh, settings for that. The first one is link a Java editor with the package explorer or a package explorer view project explorer or package explorer view if you want to link your eclipse ide sorry if you want to link your java editor to a package or project explorer just click on this link with editor symbol if you click the link with editor symbol whenever you are changing the file automatically it selects in the package explorer window this is about linking a java editor with the project explorer or the package view next i am going to discuss about automatic placement of a semicolon eclipse can make a typing more efficient by placing a semicolon at the correct position of your source code if you want to do the setting for that go to the preferences settings select java editor if you want to do that one window preferences go to the general go to the editor sorry go to the java select editor in this editor we need to select typing in this typing we need to select the semicolon whenever we are selecting the semicolon automatic place placement of the semicolon will occur in your java editor afterwards you can type the semicolon in the middle of your code and eclipse position is at the end of the current statement just click on apply ok next i am going to discuss about auto escape auto escape text pasting into a strings eclipse allows you to escape the text automatically if it is a pasted into a starting literals for example you can copy html code and paste it into a start in your java source Eclipse would we escape the text automatically for you. Activate the settings via go to the window, go to the preferences, and go to the Java. Go to the Java. In this Java, go to the editor and typing. In the string literal, escape. In the string literal, escape the text when pasting into a pasting into a string literal now we can see now we can paste a text that should be escaped the following code i can show you to do for that one next i am going to discuss about this is the escape test when pa pasting into a string literal just click on it apply ok next i am going to discuss about bracket highlighting for that bracket highlighting we need to select the bracket highlight in this one window preferences java here is the braces just click on editor see here bracket highlighting whenever it is checked it automatically highlights the brackets 
before changing you would not see the enclosing brace brackets after that they will be slightly highlighted this helps to see which block you are now click on ok just see here now it shows which block you are for example if you click on here it shows the which block you are if you click on the here which it shows which block you are next i'm going to discuss about always starts previous launched application eclipse allows you to start an application via the run button in the menu of a via our control f11 if you want to start run your application by using run method this is the run method or by pressing the control plus f11 shortcut by default eclipse determines if the current selected file is executable and try to start that try to start that this is a sometimes confusing you can configure the eclipse ide to always start the last started applic program to configure this select the window preferences run and debug here there is a run and debug is there see here run and debug is there in this run and debug go to the launching go to the launching in the eclipse preferences dialog select the launch the previous launched application see here now here launch the associated project but if you select the launch previous launched application it automatically select and debug the previous application next i am going to discuss about filtering out a certain java packages via type filtering to add the import statements to your code and you can use the organizer import action by pressing control shift o if there are a several alternatives eclipse suggest all the available packages and the user has to select the right one i can show you for that filtering the imports how it is see here i am deleting logger import now it shows the error here logger now i am pressing the control shift o whenever it shows the there is a logger class available in the two packages the one is wagi.apache.log4j.logger and another one is java.util.logger.logger in these two what correct import you want select that one and click on okay it automatically import that particular class if you never use a certain packages for example logger you can exclude the packages from the eclipse via window preferences java appearance type filtering testing press the add packages button to add the specific packages or add button to use the wild card the settings the following is to show how to add that all these things next i am going to discuss about format the source code organizing the imports and code cleanup on save eclipse can perform an action Eclipse perform an, uh, performs an action during the save operation. For example, format your source code, organizing your imports, clean up, and your your code. You can find the corresponding settings under the window preferences. If you want that one, go to the window preferences, Java. Go to the Java, extract the Java. Under Java, go to the editor. in this editor save actions in this save actions select that the source code should be formatted and the import should be organized and every save action if you go here perform the selected action on save organized the imports and format our source code format all the lines and additional actions these are the additional actions add finalized modifiers to a private variables add missing at the rate override annotations and all those things now click on okay now this one 
now i am doing this here i am pressing like this now it is not a properly formatted code whenever we are saving this one automatically it's formatted here see it's automatically formatted if you can define the additional actions which you perform during the save via configure button you can select which one you want to active next i'm going to discuss about completion overrides and insert a guessed methods arguments eclipse can override existing method calls in case you trigger a code code completion in an existing statements eclipse can also try to guess the correct actual parameters for that method calls for that you need to configure one thing which is the first settings you can override methods and modifiers of a statement by using the control space code assistant shortcut for that consist uh, <coughs> for that con uh, content assist we need to do some preferences for that go to the window preferences select the select the editor in this select editor contents content assist is available in this contents assist it can be show completion of the inserts or completion of overrides and all those things are available we need to select which we want to prefer all those things click on ok it can be saved automatically next i am going to discuss about auto activation key for the code completion the eclipse ide is configured to give your automatic code com uh, completion suggestions only after the dot sign you can configure the eclipse to get a code completion and every character open again the window preferences go to the again window preferences java java in this java you need to go to the editors in this editor go to the con content assistance preferences settings and enter enter the active trigger for the java if you want to uh, click on small letters or capital letters it automatically shows all those things here if you want to small a to z and capital a to z whenever we are putting on the dot after that it whenever we are putting any key it's a small or capital it shows the, all these things Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.